music plays like one man's heart. There is no giving in right from the start. My love, one man's music is my love. My When I was a 19-year-old, my guitar and I began like a storm in the screened-in second story of the Montrose, an older part of Houston, Texas. It was a lawless, hip world within the world, an attitude as much as it was a place to live. I had everything a young musician with a brand new guitar could want. Night by night, I was a sorcerer's apprentice. My robe might have been a little unfittingly long, but I was casting the first spells of my art in hamburger joints. The sun and moon and stars make the wind blow. It took me 20 years to understand. I drove a cab. Strung fence wire, bought guitars, squeegeed windows, dug post holes, sold guitars, cleaned boats, mowed lawns, did construction and landscaping and everything I could to keep my authorship alive. I played from edge to edge in the Lone Star State in downtown bars uptown concert clubs and country and western palaces out on farm to market roads. From the Armadillo World Headquarters to the alleyways of Austin. In Christmas week of 1982, I became a brain injured young writer and musician in a late night automobile accident on an interstate feeder road. At a midnight stoplight, I was mauled at more than 65 miles per hour in the driver's side door by a drinking driver. There was injury to my spinal cord and brain. My lungs were collapsed. The skin was punctured in various places. Bones in my right arm were destroyed. It came up like a hurricane. Tuck everything. The places I held so dear are gone. When I came out of the ensuing month-long coma, a B-rate movie actor was president, and I had mistakenly been listed in the death notices of the Austin American statesman. My smallish mother, with a comfortable southern accent, came to my bedside before I opened my eyes and said, Vince, two syllables, this is your mother. Can you move your arm for your mother? Vince, this is your mother. Why don't you move your arm for your mother? I slowly raised my good arm and shot of the bird. She laughed and cried around the intensive care floor, telling everyone, that's my Vince. He flipped me off. He's going to be just fine. A friend considered. I remember him turning his head and his eyes looking right at me and then just continuing to move without stopping. It was like a radar beam or a searchlight just going across my face. Nobody thought Vince would ever play again, said a longtime music friend. Nobody except Vince. From the control room window of the high dollar studio in the Tenderloin, I hear the producer say, click, pause. Vince, you sang that last one just like Caruso.
Thanks, pal. I puff up like a buttered turkey in front of a room full of distinguished musicians whose eyes now wander about the room. Pause. But Vince, pause. And now a little more emphatically, you ain't Caruso. Just tell the story, okay? Try it again. Pause. Do you get this message from the other side? None of us will ever leave, not even lies. That brain injury dude is one big son of a bitch but he's got no business trifling with me every day I send the posse out to catch that bastard only to find him under my nails and the fact remains I can never wake up and not be brain injured I've played music since I was a B-flat cornet packing kid I've grown up in music, worked to distraction in music, wrecked all to hell in music, and I've been at it now for at least a couple of lifetimes. High musical seasons and adventurous moments they were, but even before those delightfully extravagant times, and always in their wake, there has been an orchestra that hangs around my neck, then in a beer light looks suspiciously like an acoustic guitar. And if the neck is worn, you have no further to look for the reason than my rough old Texas hands. Once I lived in the street so deep My ankles and my legs were frozen Then a Gulf Coast breeze blew by Like smoke on the wind I followed that smoke A man and a ghost out drifting Through the west Didn't need no maps to tell Which way I was going 